So what's our important information here? Four nights is part of it. And they want to be within $20 of $175. So we have our inequality written here. What is the 4x standing for? Four, four, nights. four nights times how much the hotels cost minus $175 is greater than or less than or equal to 20 because we want to be within $20 of the 175. Is our absolute value isolated? Okay, yes. so we're going to take it out of its absolute value bars. And our positive version is less than or equal to 20. What is our negative version going to be? Yep, it's going to be greater than or equal to negative 20. What number is going to be added to all of these? 175, except I wrote 75. And we end up with 4x is less than or equal to 195. And 4x is greater than or equal to 155. This side over here is going to tell us our maximum that can be spent. And this is going to tell us the minimum that can be spent. And when I divide 195 by 4, I'm left with X is less than or equal to $48.75. And when I divide 155 by 4, I'm getting X is greater than or equal to $38.75. So take a look at those hotels. Of A, B, and C, which are hotels that they could afford to stay in with the parameters that they've been given? Hotels A and B. With that, instead of trying to try it, I want us to do some example problems together. So cross this off, and we're going to use the space below it to do some work. I'd like you to write the inequality 3 is greater than the absolute value of x minus 6. Every time you want to ask yourself, is the absolute value by itself? And it's not. What's with it? A negative 6. So we're going to add 6 to both sides. And we get 9 is greater than the absolute value of x. Now that it's isolated, what can we do with it? Take it out of its bars. 9 is greater than x. And negative 9 is less than x. Are they in the right order for graphing? So now we need to flip them. In just a moment, I'm going to give you guys one more thing to glue into your notebooks. Steps for solving inequalities, and I really need to open this as a Word document and redo it. Basically, number one is the same as when we were doing this with equations. Rearrange the inequality so the absolute value bars are on one side and everything else is on the other. In other words, make sure it's isolated. Two, determine your two new inequalities to be solved. Well, what we're talking about there is make sure you have a positive version and a negative version. And then 3 says decide if these two inequalities should be joined by and or or. And here's my problem with it. I never even think about it until I'm graphing them. Because once you're graphing them, it's really obvious if it's an and or an or, right? And this is saying solve the compound inequality, substitute values in, and then graph it. And I would say do the and or at the end because it will be pretty obvious. Let's go ahead and graph this one. Am I circling or filling in? Just circling. And it's less than 9 and greater than negative 9. So what do we have here? An and. OK, 
Okay, I'd like you to put 4 times x minus 5 is greater than or equal to negative 24. What should our first step be? Divide by 4. We get the absolute value of x minus 5 is greater than or equal to negative 6. We have a negative version already. So we're going to write this as x minus 5 is greater than or equal to negative 6. The sign doesn't flip because I haven't multiplied this by a negative 1. The other one is going to get multiplied by a negative 1 so that we end up with a positive 6. What do you think that means will happen to the symbol? Yep. Except I'm still writing it the wrong way. Everything gets a 5 added to it. So we get x is greater than or equal to negative 1 x is less than or equal to 11. And we're going to end up with another and here. What's going to be true about my circles this time? They're going to be filled in. And it's greater than or equal to negative 1 and less than 11, so we have another and. Okay, I would like you to find um, above the reflection where the problems are listed. And we're going to do a little bit of a change here. I want you to cross off this E and change the 28 to 27. You're doing 27 to 34 all, 35 to 38 and 42. And all of this is on page 48. And then, because it's a weekend, I want you to change the three questions to reflect on to two. And you can do them on the same paper. I'm not going to collect them on Monday. We're going to talk about them. So bring them prepared to talk with your group. Okay?